Good morning po! Today's video, I will just like talk about um, my first pregnancy and second pregnancy. Ala lang, naisip ko lang na reminis, reminis my experience during my first pregnancy. Because uh, I'll be almost 27 weeks na. Few weeks left and I will give birth na. So, yun na sa isip ko, I will like reminisce yung like experience ko ng first pregnancy. I will just share to you yung parang pregnancy journey ko before. Um, yeah, I knew that I was pregnant March, almost last week of March na. But then, it was already 7 weeks. So, ang tagal ko nalaman na I was pregnant. And actually, Honey Boo uh, was the one who noticed na I, I was pregnant because I kept vomiting that time. And which, that's the difference between the first and second pregnancy. With Aina, I kept vomiting since 7 weeks until 14 weeks or almost 15 let's say few, almost 15 weeks na ata yun nung ano na stop ako sa pag vomit but then as in everyday terrible vomit but then with ayo ah, with ayo with this pregnancy i think only five times that i puke and then there's only time na i went to i was hospitalized because i kept vomiting like for since morning until afternoon and it was weird because I didn't, I really didn't puke like every day. Just that day na, since morning to afternoon, I I kept, I kept vomiting. Kaya ayun, I was hospitalized. With ayun din, I was also hospitalized because nga, I kept vomiting for ayun. That was worse because for 24 hours before I went to the hospital, both pregnancy, I was like really dehydrated with the like vomiting but then after that with this pregnancy no i did not puke na <laughs> no not at all and like ayun until almost 15 weeks then i want honey to notice it i said at the timing dinner i always had head i always had headache that time and i was thinking no i just had i just like i've had a because when Ever since Siguro high school, college, every time I have headache, I have to puke so hard, especially if like terrible headache, I have to puke talaga. So it's normal for me when I have headache and then I have to puke. I said, no, I just have, I said, no, it's impossible. I just have to vomit because I have headache. But then honey will say, nee, nee, this day you keep wanting to eat. Um fruits you love to eat fruits they say so yeah i love fruits i right? ever before but then he said it's really different now he just want to keep eating fruit eating 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 fruits and then sabing yeah it's different now it's really different so i uh, on the day after we bought a pregnancy test and yeah I was really pregnant, honey. But was right. So I uh, honey, we immediately booked appointment with like OB gynecologist. And with this pregnancy, five weeks something yun ni. Eh. Well, five weeks and few days soon in laman ko na pregnant ako. Another oh, oh, another difference po I with Aeon's pregnancy. I really didn't feel not always tired and sleeping no i have like very high energy but this um pregnancy naku, <laughs> i easily get tired and i just want to sleep i think i can sleep all day but it's not it's not possible because i'm taking care of aeon and then it's, it's different i had a household chores and with aeon i, I can sleep all day but then if I can. I think I just sleep all day. I always get tired and sleepy with this pregnancy. Like I remember, I had like I had to. I work before cleaning ladies, cleaning houses, right? First two weeks, I was super duper okay. Like your energy, ko it was very okay for four hours straight. Talaga, just work, work, work. I didn't feel tired at all. I just feel tired after work. And then pagdating dito, I have to, I had to like cook and take care of it. mga ganon ganon. That's take care of the house. So that's the time I like felt I'm very tired after working. But there's so work for four hours. No, I was just like enjoying. <laughs> I enjoyed like cleaning the houses for the four hours. But then after third week, I third week, <laughs> third week ko na napagtabaw. That was the time. Now why is it? I woke up. I already uh, super tired. I just woke up at uh, 6 because I have alarm. 
then I'm already very tired and then when I think of work, I just work for one hour and I'm already very tired. If I like saw sofa, just want to lie down and sleep. I said, what's happening? I said, I said, I'm so tired. I can't like, kahit pagod na pagod ako, but kailangan kong I, ano, malampasan yung four hours na work in that third week. How second, first, second week, it was super okay. The third week, yun pala. Because I was pregnant na pala that time. Oy, that's, that, that's why I was very tired and sleepy. <laughs> that, which is not the case with Aeon because I did not experience with Aeon's pregnancy. I did not experience bleeding. It was all okay. And you know what? With Aeon's pregnancy, I helped Hanibu with his business because I already mentioned the previous vlog na I was self-employed before because I helped Hanibu with his business. So he registered me as self-employed. I think I started helping Hanibu April, May, June and then first week of July lang because um, if if yung parang government dito didn't send me a letter na I had to study my Dutch lessons na din I just continue um, helping Hanibo with his business but then with his work but then they already sent me a letter na I need to study Dutch so I go nag stop ako helping Hanibo and I went to school for Dutch class July summer yun eh so July mga second week or third week pa yung nag-start. So, I stopped working and then that work po with Hanibu is whole day talaga. Woke up so early and then late at night, I'm, my body was tired. Don't really like, not exhausted but yeah, full of work, like movements. Like, parang ganun. Kasi, yeah, it's a whole day work talaga with Hanibu and I didn't feel tired at all. See, with, unlike with this pregnancy na I will just feel like hours of working, like vacuum, ano pa, tawag dun, konti lang galaw, I already feel so tired and like pain in pain everywhere, but then with the first pregnancy, no, I didn't feel that at all, it was all okay, uh, but with Aeon's pregnancy, I also experienced a lot na nat natakot ako, kasi at 31 weeks po, I almost gave birth to Aeon. <laughs> I was very like I, I was very afraid that time na mapanganak ma panganak ah ma nak mag maka anak anak <laughs> we'll give in Tagalog oy I don't know the terms sa Tagalog but you I uh, gave birth early kasi 31 weeks pa lang it's not yet fully term kasi the reason po was I every I had to go to school. Ah, by the way, I had to go to school with my bicycle po, and then I also mentioned it to sa doctor, and then she said, she said it's all okay. Kasi hindi naman ako na experience ng mga bleeding or other illness during pregnancy. I was very like super good and smooth i had very good and like smooth pregnancy so it was so okay for me to go with bicycle as long as i had to be uh, as long as be careful na hindi matumba so i i always go going there to going to school 45 minutes or 50 minutes mga between 45 to 50 minutes and then going back home again 45 to 50 minutes bicycle oh, diba? and i didn't feel tired at all it was so okay for me <laughs> But then, oh my, I, there was one time I went to the shop there. I was already like, siguro few weeks ago. Naku, siguro five minutes ko lang magbike. Wala na, pagod na, pagod na ako. <laughs> Ay, it's really different. But before, naku, almost two hours, good bicycle talaga. I bicycle. And I was to school. And then every Wednesday kasi no class. Kaya that's the time na I clean before I clean house like super clean talaga kasi Wednesday I had no school that time so the kitchen here and upstairs as in as in hard clean talaga but every Wednesday lang naman yung soup like parang hard like cleaning and then it was okay naman for a few like Wednesday it was okay but then that Wednesday that was terrible I had pain in my hair after, after uh, uh, late at night and then at my back and then it's like a contraction it's getting so hard and then it's so painful it's like a contraction siya talaga as in from night 
and then until morning na but then Thursday I had to go to school so I went to school and then dun sa school I was just in so much pain and then yeah I didn't at then siguro 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Nako, I had to cry so hard there at school as it I, na, I don't want to remember it because yeah there's, there were a lot of like my classmates and then other people I had to cry so hard because it was so much pain and then my classmates said, perhaps you already gave birth because it's consistent the, the pain it's consistent talaga so honey it's still 31 weeks oh, I had to cry if I remember because that was like terrible experience I was scared because 31 31 weeks but I was mga anak na I was so afraid for a baby and then yeah I had to call Honey Boo and then my mother-in-law and then yeah Honey Boo said immediately to the hospital and then yeah that my OB said um what did I do or like they asked me like what happened or what did I do and then I mentioned that I clean Wednesday like, a bit hard and then sabi niya it's one of the reasons why it like nag ano do yung parang con contraction the pain everywhere daw sabi niya i can't do that na daw with like big tummy na i can't do that like hard uh, doing a lot of stuff stuff was hard like too much no daw so yeah they monitor i was in the hospital entire day until night um entire day and i think until 8 or 9 p.m by yon they monitor uh baby so, ayun, they monitor baby and then the nurses told me before na if you will really give birth at 31 weeks, I sh na I, they need to send me to a, another hospital because that hospital is not like for the premature babies. Like there are hospitals here in Belgium na if premature, like babies, don't sila ipapa, like ipanganak. So, transfer down nila ako in case, wala talaga, I, I was like, I just cried and cried and then I prayed to God, Lord, Lord, please, not now because it's super, I was afraid because it's very early, diba, 31 weeks. I was very afraid for what happened to baby, mga ganun. I keep crying and praying and then I also keep talking and talking to Aeon, no, not please, eh. not not now, please, Aeon, just hold there for a bit longer, a few weeks left and then eh, eh, Oh, okay na. And then, sabi ko, nag-promise talaga ako kayo na I'll have a rest, 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 rest. And then, I'll say, okay, God, like, I will take, take care of myself and baby, like, more and more and more and more all times, 100%. Because at that time, di, I didn't expect it as well na pag, like, mag-clean lang naman. Because I always do that. Na, I always, tawag dun, clean naman, like, few weeks. But then, it was okay. So, I, I thought it would be okay. But then, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, thanks God. At, and yeah, they just monitor the contraction, and then there's really contraction. And then they gave me um pill. I don't remember the name of the pill. Parang progesterone ba yun? Basta, I don't remember the name of the pill, but para pang pakapit and stop down ng contraction. So they gave me, and then after giving me that medicine, they monitor if the contraction will stop. And then, yeah, after an hour, yung contraction nag less na siya, less and until even evening, no wala na siya. And then the pain was still there a little bit, but it's not like the contraction was kana. So my OB just advised me, me like what to do and what not to do. So I then, like, OB also um, asked me to like take that pill the progesterone by but i don't really know the name basta yung pampakapit for two mo for two weeks para talaga mag stay si an ang baby sa chan ko for until fully term for two weeks yun and then iron din so yung pampakapit tapos pampakapit ba yun or basta pa ganun tapos yung iron i had to take it for two weeks and ayun thanks god thanks god and thank you ayun <laughs> kasi ayun really stayed until 39 weeks and two days i gave birth 39 weeks and two days so it's really fully term <laughs> so thank you lord yun yung parang terrible experience ko no ay yung parang experience ko with in pregnancy na natakot talaga ako and with this naman is the bleeding with the early pregnancy first trimester the bleeding and now so far it's all good naman only when I like do 
like stuffs like cleaning vacuuming uh doing mop no i have very pain then i have the up and down like that pain in my that uh stomach and back and i think it's normal na mani pa because um my tummy is getting bigger it's not getting smaller it's getting bigger so i think it's normal naman and then i mentioned it to my ob before sabi niya it's normal naman as long as it's not really super duper painful as long as i can bear the pain and then i can bear the pain naman so yeah when i clean just slowly by slowly it's not the same when i was like pregnant when i clean i would really do chuk 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 but now no just um careful and slowly and do now when giving birth it's really timing na Honey Boo was home because it was Sunday when I gave birth to Aeon. Super timing talaga. I woke up at 7 a.m. because like it feels like there's water coming out and then when I look at the bed, yeah, it's really wet. I watched a lot of videos when I like with my first pregnancy because it was my first pregnancy and I didn't have like really idea. So I always I, I watch a lot of videos and then yeah it was the water na, it was my like what bug water like broke na it was very wet the the our bed and then my <laughs> here it was very wet and then I told honey boo my love I think my bag of water broke she said, oh and then you already have pain I said not yet <laughs> not yet so I just clean and then I put something so bad that I just lie down again and then uh, but then after an hour I already felt uh, I felt the pain but it's not really pain it's just like um menstrua menstruation uh, I like cramps parang lang this but it already start but early early contraction or like early labor by yan tawag so I uh, it started uh, an hour after the uh, water after Na the water broke. I like after nung nag ano na after pumutok yung panubigan. Go one hour later, nag start na ng contraction. But it's not painful at at all. But I, it's just uncomfortable lying down together with Haribo because I keep moving and moving and then he's still sleeping. Cause it's Sunday, so I am still sleeping Haribo. So I I. I went downstairs and I just I remember I lie down here sa sa couch and then until nine I still feel there's still pain but it's not consistent pain talaga it's just like a little bit super little <laughs> pain and then siguro mga almost ten I told her my love I think I will really give birth because the pain is consistent but still not really painful and then um Hanibu said, perhaps you can call the hospital na kasi to ask when can I go. So I called the hospital and then the nurse said, some maternity section said, na when it's like at least 10 minutes by yun, yung sinabi niya na consistent yung pain or you're very painful na. Like even though it's not 10 minutes but it's very painful na I can't bear the pain then. That's the time na pupunta na talaga ako sa hospital because my bag, like, panubigan already broke, sabi niya. Then, at, I was very hungry. I asked Karibu, my love, can you buy me? As in, my favorite bread talaga before was, like, there's, like, bread and then there is, like, vanilla pudding and chocolate pudding. Can you buy that for me, please? Before I gave birth, I want to eat. Oh, if I want to eat that before I will start like hard labor and give it ah. So honey who bought me like different kinds of bread and then yung hinahat ko na bread tapos ano pa yun na chocolate drink and then juice ba yun masa honey who bought, uh, bought me a lot of food <laughs> and then while honey who was like while honey who was gone like go to the store I I showered. I said I was just very calm. I showered and clean everything, and then the hospital bags were already ready. Si Guru mga thirty five weeks pa ako nun or ready na yung like hospital bags ko everything ready. So just immediately bring. I immediately grab the bag. We go to the hospital. So it's all okay, and then yeah, I ate, I ate, ate, and then eleven something. Now we decided to go na. <laughs> oh. At 11, uh, we decided to go na 
Pag turn on namin sa sasakyan, naku, it didn't, uh, uh, it didn't turn on uh, po. Uh, it was, it was, oh, it was kaput, it was broken, the car was broken, can turn it, it can turn it on, and then Honey Boo said, for 10 years, it was not like that at all, it never been like broken for 10 years. Just that day na Abel gave birth and we need to go to the hospital. That's the time na it was like broken. So ayun, Honey Boo had to call. Um, yung sasakyan kasi grandmother niya dati, dati ay maliit. So hindi kami magkasya. But then, so Honey Boo had to call his, uh, his mama and then his aunt and then his cousin if who's available that time. But then I think they are all, most of them are like available because it's Sunday. Then the cousin of Honey Boo is closer lang dito. It's just a few minutes drive. Oh, my Honey Boo kasi mal malayo pa. Mga 30 minutes drive. So, 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 so ayun. <laughs> yung cousin ni Honey Boo. Oh, oh, girl cousin Honey Boo. Um, a meter of, ayun, um, godmother of Ayon. So, yeah, she drove us there. Okay. She drove us there to the hospital and then immediately, mama, my mother-in-law followed us to the hospital as well. And then when I arrived there, it was three centimeter pa yung, no? Three centimeter, I think. And then it, the pain was still not really painful, though it's pain, but it's not really painful siguro if 100 like if the super painful is this siguro mga ganito lang siya but it's still painful and then yeah and then i asked eh, hanibo asked if we stay in the hospital or if we to go back kasi 3 cm pa it's still a bit like malayo sabi sabi ng nurse no no his her like panubigan already broke so it's already good you can stay here na don't can stay there na and then it's very nice here in Belgium po because y yung like labor and delivery room is just the same and then what I saw most of dun sa nas, what I saw most of the videos sa Philippines lang yung labor room a lot of moms nagli labor and then yung delivery lang only one but then here po labor and delivery room only one and it you're the only one talaga pregnant in that labor and delivery room. So, you have, like, you will not be shy or you'll be, like, more comfortable during labor. Kasi only you, like, having pain and then, and ha the husband is also allowed during labor and delivery. And during labor, also other family members are allowed. Only the delivery, na the other members of the family not allowed. Only the husband is allowed during uh, delivery but labor it's okay <laughs> it was um it was very nice experience because i really thought before na i my plan before was not to take epidural talaga because i'm super afraid with the very big needles needle na nakikita ko sa view tawo sinutusog dito ay sa so, usin no I can't handle that <laughs> baka may matay ako pag usog palang dito so I think I will not take epidural kasi yun yung sabi ng doctor ko you can't take epidural if you can't handle the pain but then I said no I will do my best not to take epidural and then I asked my mom my cousin they, they didn't take epidural at all a lot I, my cousins na younger than me they gave birth but they didn't take it with drill, they managed the pain. I was thinking I can also do that perhaps. Huh? So I tried my very best talaga. I didn't take epidural and then yeah, the nurses there and my OB was very proud of me because I didn't take epidural and then I handled the labor stage. They said very good talaga. Like when I have pain, I will just like concentrate, concentrate and not, I didn't make too much noise and then just really like calm they said i was very good good girl good girl though but during labor and especially delivery as well though the delivery took a bit long but then the obi said it's normal because it's your first child uh, i started pushing 6 p.m and baby Aiden was out 7 30 p.m but it's not push not for one hour and 30 minutes pushing no it's also like the 
the con contraction stops, so I had to wait again. And then when the contraction begins, in the other time, I'll push again. That time, and it's not for one or thirty minutes uh, push. No, uh, on only like it took long <laughs> because yeah, we have to wait for the contra contraction to start again. And then there was one there. There's that at that time like came now the contraction had like stop i didn't feel contraction at all so i didn't feel contraction at all so they put something i don't know what was that para yung contraction matrigger yung contraction so yun nagkaroon naman ako ng contraction then yeah i push 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 and then yeah baby was out but i experienced pain like super duper painful talaga siguro mga almost 7 cm na dilated so that was really like the pain super pain I, I thought that time that was the most 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 most, most <laughs> painful experience I've ever like had because it was really very painful you can't explain the pain is everywhere here and there and yeah i'm just really very lucky and blessed that honey boo was there and i have been i just hold honey boo in, uh, like that and honey boo's hand was already like a little bit bruises from god doing like that <laughs> and yeah but honey boo was all he he said was the best experience for him that he is able to like yeah see me labor and the delivery of baby Aeon which is so nice and then no eight na sabi ko it's all it seems like eight to nine na ata yun and I said it seems like the baby is already on my butt <laughs> my butt talaga yun sinabi ko sa sa doctor ay sa mga nurses ko kasi yung OB ko just check on but then for that entire day do sa hospital yung mga nurses talaga two nurses and then one two nurses i think and then one parang student nurse i tawag doon yung nurse na nag-aaral pa but then nag manonood sa mga nurse ko anong yung ginagawa or nurse ba yun or midwife i think nurse yeah and then i um ayun so sabi nila no you can't push yet because it's not yet a uh, fully 10 cm so uh, okay and then sign something it's almost 10 sabi nila yeah but you can't push it yeah we can't push it otherwise yung pelvic something by yun i don't remember the term i was they keep explaining to me but i said yeah yeah, yeah but it was not really like sink in <laughs> sa utak ko na kalimutan ko na after giving birth kasi ano yung sinabi nila pelvic ba yun will um it will um mag mag fra I fracture daw if ever I will push basta hindi it's not good under here if I keep pushing even though it's not yet 10 cm 10 cm yun talaga sabi niya so ayun talaga I waited for 10 cm din almost like nine something na they already called my OB and then my OB went there and then timing talaga na 10 centimeters as well my OB arrived and then yeah I had to push I was I felt like relief <laughs> when my OB went there and then she said you can already push yeah when she said when she checked uh, when she checked and she said you can already push she said, ah. <laughs> and then yeah I was very happy seeing my OB that time and um, yeah I push and push and push else I also experienced uh, the, yung turtle something syndrome. I don't remember the exact term, but si Aeon kasi, he was 3.5 kilograms when, like, oh, ay, 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 Aeon fell on me. I mean, not be careful, Shkato Kawe. Be careful. Makili, mama was very, mama is very fast, huh? I managed to hold him. <laughs> Luckily, Mama saw him and Mama is very fast, huh? Um, tawag dun? Turtle, sino ba yun? <laughs> I don't remember. But Aeon was 3.5 kilograms that time and I'm very, like, pitit. <laughs> pitit. Yeah, maliit ako, tapos ang laki niya. And then, um, yeah, it's normal because the, the genes that he got from... <laughs> Nathan side okay super they are big babies yung mama ni honey boo i think sabi niya four kilograms nung baby and then si, si honey boo din almost four and then my 
Nathan as well, almost 4 kilograms. And then yung father ni Hanibo, 4.1 something. So, very big jeans. Like, yung ba big babies talaga sila. So, luckily, oh. ayun, mix build their jeans and my jean. Their jeans and then yung jeans ko, na yung jeans ko, na jeans ko, yung like yung mga mama ko, mga kapatid ko, yung lola ko, only little babies, small <laughs> babies. Ako kasi 2.6, I think mama said, then Nathan almost 4 kilos. And then ako 2.6 um, uh, kilos. So, gabi yung difference. So, at least si Aeon, naging 3.5 kilos and I managed the del normal delivery. But then, yung, uh, yung butter to something syndrome na na malapit na siya but then when i stopped yeah to back again to like that so yeah uh, my ob almost had to do like uh they had to take a uh, prepare na yung parang ganun para i help kunin yung baby but then thanks god thanks god like she waited for like few minutes siguro yun bago niya gawin yung some like apparatus na to help baby but then thanks god na few minutes and then baby Ayn was out without help of anything like without the the, the apparatus that helped no she uh, he just whoosh, immediately and then oh i was very happy and then yeah it was so nice especially the moment you like hear babies cry oh it was so nice and honey book cut the yeah. yung cord <laughs> so nice experience and i'm very excited to experience that again in few weeks from now like three months yeah three months from now very excited honey was also very excited <laughs> and i hope lord everything will be okay and everything like will go smooth i really hope lord. <laughs> yeah so ayun lang po yung video and uh, that's all for today's video if you have questions or ano pa you can comment and i'm sorry if this video is just all talking because i just want to share this experience to you po i i already shared it few a little bit by little bit with my old vlogs but it's not entire like pregnancy talaga yung other stuff i haven't mentioned it also as i haven't mentioned it yet it is a vlog ko so i was thinking i will share it to you my pregnancy experience my first pregnancy experience and after giving birth with the second pregnancy i will also share it to you with the delivery and delivery mga ganon and i'm sorry if just all talking <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoy listen i hope you enjoy listening and thank you so much for watching have a nice day keep safe god bless bye bye